This cable is an armored outside plant cable. It has a normal loose tube cable inside of it with an armor, in this case it's steel, stainless steel, and a polyethylene jacket over the original cable. This cable is used for outside applications because it's very strong. It's very, very stiff and hard. It's got lots of pulling strength. It can be pulled up to seven, eight hundred pounds of uh, tension. So it can be pulled long distance or it can be direct buried. Because of its armoring, uh, it resists chewing by rodents and uh, even uh, things like stones falling on it. So that it's a, uh, an extremely rugged cable for just simply burying in the ground if you are in a location in the, that uh, doesn't have a lot of, um, th that has no problems with trenching to allow you to do that. Uh, this cable, however, presents a challenge to the um, termination, person doing termination or splicing because you have to first remove the outer jacket before you can get to the inner cable. And the way we can do that, one of the simple ways of doing that is using this very high-tech tool here, a simple tubing cutter. The tubing cutter has a cutting blade which is almost exactly the right depth for cutting through the, um, the armor on the cable. Now, what we, we can't cut through this and pull it off. What we have to do is cut it about four inches from the end and use the rip cords in order to remove the, um, the armor and the outer jacket. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting through this and the depth of the cutting blade is just right to cut through the outer jacket and the armor. And that appears to be true on every sample of outside plant cable that I've seen. And you can, you can feel it when it cuts through the armor. So we'll take that off and simply pull off the outer jacket. And what's inside there is a two rip cords and a loose tube cable. So now what we want to do is we want to use the rip cords to remove the outer jacket and the armoring. Now we're going to have to use both rip cords. Generally this outer uh, coat, outer jacket and armor is too stiff to allow us to just do one and pull the cable out. So we're actually going to use both of the rip cords on this. So what I'm going to do is to start on one side and pull back the rip cord. After you've gotten the um, rip cord started down the cable, you can simply push it down the edge of the cable to rip off as much of the outer jacket as you wish. Then we'll go back and get the second rip cord and we'll do it also. By taking out both of the rip cords, we'll break the jacket into two segments, which will make it much easier to remove. Remember that you may be bringing this into a um, controlled environment vault or a regen hut or a building where you have to remove as much as 15, 20 feet of the jacket. If it becomes hard, go back, grab it closer to where you've been working, where it becomes hard, and do the um, sardine can twist again. And then take it down to the maximum point that you're looking for. Now what we have is we have the rip cords down to here. Let's take our tubing cutter again
and cut through the armor one more time. You can see how the armor is already split off from the cable. So the armor is already loose. So we'll cut through the armor here. There's one piece. And the other piece. So we've removed our armor. We can cut off the rip cords. And we now have the end of the armor and then a regular loose tube cable which we can terminate just like we did the loose tube cable we showed a few minutes ago. Now, if you don't set the cutting depth deep enough, go back and try again. So there's our loose tube gel fill cable ready for termination. The end of our armor and the cable that goes out into the outside plant. The one thing I would like for you to note is that the armor in the cable is a very, very thin layer of either aluminum or stainless steel and the edges can be very, very sharp. When you're working with this cable, be very, very careful that you don't cut yourself on the edges. Uh, some people like to work with gloves. Uh, I find them a little hard to work with, but just be careful that you don't cut yourself on the armoring.